what is up guys it's your boy Lotte welcome back to another video uh, for today's video we are gonna be picking up something that I've been wanting for a very very long time based off the title of the video you guys already know what I'm picking up a new car yes and I can't tell you what car but just know that I've been wanting this car for a very very long time uh, if you guys are OG subscribers, you guys know that this is a car that I first wanted before the 350Z. Some of you guys may know. If not, you're going to have to watch to the end of the video or find out what car it is. I've been wanting to pick it up for the last week or two. I just couldn't find the trailer to bring the car because I got to go pick it up. It's kind of going up towards Fresno, passing Bakersfield. I finally found the trailer. I have ended up renting one from U-Haul, so I got to go pick that up. And I'm probably going to take the Tacoma to pull it looked up that they could pull up to 35 to 4 thousand pounds i'm excited to try it out i know it's risky because it's so far and to be testing it out from that far <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna fucking send it if not i'm gonna end up taking a another truck a friend silverado and hopefully pull it out the, well the plan was to take his but if he's not if he doesn't want to take it then i guess i'll take mine and just send it fuck it it's crazy to me how the cars that I've been wanting, I spoke into existence, and it's crazy. I never believed that saying, but it's actually fucking true. The 350Z I posted like crazy about, and I ended up getting one. Uh, where I used to work, I had a 350Z on my background, on my desktop, and for the longest, I was I had it there. It wasn't mine, it was a different one. I was like, man, one day I'm gonna get one. And it ended up happening. And then the Tacoma as well. I had a picture up on Instagram, put it up on the screen saying that i'm gonna get one and i ended up getting one but uh i'm super excited i am thankful i am blessed have another opportunity to buy another vehicle uh, i'm really excited for this one because this one i am definitely gonna take my sweet ass time on and really i'm just super excited i have no words i'm speechless i'm tired i actually woke up pretty late i overslept i didn't fall asleep to like 4 50 in the morning knowing i had to be up at 6 in the morning because i was uploading a video that's why i uploaded like at four something uh, but <laughs> it is what it is i text the guy and told him that was gonna be late i woke up what four hours late <laughs> so i texted the guy and he said it was cool so it's cool i'm here picking up george now i'm waiting for him to come out and then i'm gonna go pick up the trailer so I'm excited for this. Well, I guess we're gonna fucking send it on my truck. Rip. I gotta back this thing up. My boy doesn't want to take his Silverado. He doesn't trust it, so uh, I'll be the test dummy for you guys. If you guys have a Tacoma, a 2009 Tacoma, I'll test this out for you. Fuck. I'll let you guys know. kind of scared the pull capacity on this truck is 3500 and look at the weight of this thing and the Z is like 3,000 pounds rip rip to my drivetrain my trans my my fucking wheels I'm gonna blow out what, what fucking negativity is that I gotta speak it into existence yeah. I was just talking about that earlier in the vlog so anyways back on the road God, we are finally here. There it is. The X Man. Yeah, his name is Barney. We're gonna have to change that though. Oh my God, I can't believe this is gonna be mine. I can't wait to show you guys the interior on this thing. It's mint. Damn, she's fucking nice. X Man. Holy 
shit. Yeah. cylinders check engine light is on the lights turn on how do you turn this on oh shit yeah. fuji crazy i've been wanting one for such a long time and it's finally happening i got so many plans for this thing yeah you're gonna keep the mineral launchers oh yeah i gotta show the exhaust hks god damn i don't even know where to start first get it running right <laughs> george is loading it up right now i can't believe this thing is mine i'm so happy right now I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie. George, we're, how do you feel? We're pulling like what? 5,000 pounds? Yeah, five, like 54. We're Six. pulling more than our capacity. Fuck. We're fucked. And we're gonna be pulling up here. Oh, yeah, sick as this one. No, that's Oh, that's just tight. I've never seen that color. Well, wish us luck. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really fucking nervous just because we're squatting so much. Well, look at this shit. Oh my god, that's scary. I can't believe this thing is mine. I'm super fucking happy. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm gonna do to this car. Sheesh. I can't believe it's mine. That's fucking crazy. I legit spoke this into existence. You can obviously speak anything you want into existence, but you can't just say it and not do anything about it. You obviously gotta work hard for it. And man. I'm so glad I did, man. Fuck. <laughs> I'm speechless. This is fucking crazy to me. I got nothing to say. <laughs> day two. Alright, what is up, guys? Continuing the vlog. It is now the next day. Uh, I'm about to put some gas in this car because it's about to run out. But I still can't believe this thing is mine. It's so unreal. Uh, George is actually the reason why I got into these cars. He used to have a blue one, but it was a 2 plus 2, which I personally think those are kind of ugly. I mean, they can look good, I'm not gonna lie, but I personally would not own one just because uh, they're like they look like limos, man. They're too long for my liking, uh, but they're still cool cars. But he used to have one of those, and 
he used to take me to car meets and that's how I like got hooked on these cars and I loved them. So ever since then I wanted one. I knew that this is a car that I wanted, like my first car. I really wanted this to be my first car. But then I saw how many headaches he was having in his and how much room there is in the engine bay to work on. So that's why I ended up just getting a 350Z to avoid all that. But now look at me, I'm in this thing. Now I know it's part of the game. Uh, whatever you, whatever car you get, you're always gonna run into issues. It doesn't matter. So yeah, I, I had to come up on this sweet deal. I'm super thankful and I'm glad I, I was able to make it back home. And of course, to make it official, I had to add that jet tag, Teclo jet tag. Uh, link is down in the description, teclo.com. Now it feels official. I'm super, super proud of myself. Honestly, I am fucking proud of myself and how far I've come. I went from having a Honda Accord back in high school, being made fun of, uh, nobody wanted to ride with me, there was always a group of friends that we would go eat during our lunch time and nobody wanted to ride with me. I was always, always that kid that rode alone to wherever we were going and to look at me now, four cars, four cars and where are those guys at now? Completely cut out of my life because fuck them that's why they used to make fun of me and now I don't see them or hear them still crazy and mind-blowing to me which is alright I honestly never cared and I didn't buy so many cars to show them up I just did the shit for myself I was patient I waited I knew that eventually my time would come and it did I never let that hate get to me the hate doesn't faze me so I always just let them talk. And now I look back, like what happened? I have to tell the shit talk in high school. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> this is fucking badass feeling, I'm not gonna lie. What's up, bitch? Where you at now? <laughs> but anyways, shout out to all my haters. Fucking love you guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. And also for you guys as well, don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams, uh, push hard. And the grind does not stop. The grind doesn't stop and I won't stop until I'm at the top. <laughs> but anyways, enough talking. Sorry guys, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. I'll give you guys a little bit more detail on this car as soon as I finish pumping gas here. All right. So I guess I could talk to you guys a little bit about the car while I drive. So obviously this car is not gonna be perfect for the year. It's a 1993 300ZX. Nissan 300ZX. Uh, there's a couple things that need to be fixed on this car for it to be running perfect or close, nearly perfect. Uh, so, it's a couple things that I can point out right off the bat that's wrong with this car. Uh, it has shaft play, so I'm gonna need a new drive shaft. I'm probably gonna order a one, a one piece drive shaft for this car. Speedo doesn't work, so that's gonna have to get fixed. Uh, it's running on five cylinders right now, so it sounds like a Subi. Not like not saying that Subi sound bad, but the, this car shouldn't sound like it. Uh, it has a cracked dash, but that can be replaced. And this right here shouldn't be bolted on like that. That shouldn't be like that. So I'm gonna have to get all this fixed. And the uh, first gear kind of grinds, so I have to like easily put it in first because it kind of grinds. Hopefully by changing out the trans oil, it'll fix that issue. But um, I'm actually pretty happy with the goodies that it came with. I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about the outside as soon as I pull over. All right, before I turn it off, I'm gonna show you guys the HKS exhaust. It might not sound that good because of the five cylinder. Point out the flaws that it has. It has a dent here. This can be pulled out easy. Uh, this has got to go. I got to get a delete for this. It's only like 10 bucks on eBay. Missing a gas cap. The door is a little loose. I might have to lift this up and tighten it because it shouldn't close like that. God damn. Well, let me show you guys the front bumper. Everything looks mint pretty much. The hood is gonna get need to get replaced or fixed because it has like those pins there. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but this front bumper is done -zo. And it's missing these little fog lights. George said he's gonna let me have his, so I'll be adding that pretty soon. I'm gonna have to get that fixed, of course. That is it, besides the speedo not working, shaft play, 
and the first gear is grinding a little bit and I believe the AC does not work on this car which I pretty bummed about but I could probably get that fixed uh, interior is pretty clean as you can see pretty mint for a 93 good thing is I can replace that and I gotta get this fixed because this is a no-go but other than that I see this as a lot of content a lot of content oh man I can't believe this shit's mine I've been wanting one for so long the goodies that it came with it has a HKS exhaust high power HKS high power exhaust and it has power tricks coilovers which I'm pretty happy about uh, those are pretty good coilovers for this car it has a short shifter actually and it comes with a sh uh, Nismo shift knob which I might replace to be honest but for Kobe I'm a huge Kobe fan rest in peace Kobe I grew up watching him play and uh, this is actually pretty cool that me and George have purple and yellow Laker colors representing I still can't believe Kobe and Gigi and the other and the rest of the people that were on that helicopter passed away that is so sad and heartbreaking it honestly breaks my heart it broke my heart I'm not gonna lie especially because I grew up watching Kobe for a really long time and kind of so sad that this car does have an intake it's, it has a still an intake which is pretty cool i am gonna wrap it up here i am again super thankful and blessed to have another car in my life and i owe it all to you guys if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be where i am today so thank you guys i seriously appreciate you guys so much i'm excited for this project and i hope you guys are too well i will see you guys whoa i almost stopped all right